Hi, I'm Stuart McConaughey, and in this video, we're going to go over the process of using the Heimer Shrink Fit system. This is a great piece of machinery that allows you to go through and heat shrink all your tools in place and cool them. Some of the great things about this machine is we can go through and use all kinds of different holders and shrink fit all kinds of different size tools. So the first thing that we are going to do is go through and clean the outside of our tool holder. This is important because we're going to place the heating element right over it and we don't want any debris to interfere. Once we have that, we're also going to clean the inside and get it ready for our tool. We're going to go ahead and place in this dual lock extension into our shrink fit holder. So we're going to go ahead and use our brush and clean out this inside bore. This is so that way the inside surface is nice and clean, which will give us a great contact with our tool. Now I can then just place it in this nice drawer. We'll go through and clean the outside. I like to use alcohol or isopropyl alcohol, just so that way I know there's no oil or no contaminants on the outside. Once I have it all nice and clean, I am now ready to go ahead and configure my settings. This is an important part of this process. This particular tool holder from my prior research, I happen to know is going to be a standard class and its size is going to be in between 3 8 and 15 30 seconds. That is called A3. Once I have that, it then gives me the instructions on what number to set my coil. This is important because it will open and close the eye for the right diameter of this holder. Once I have that all set, I can then move my tool into the correct station, make sure everything is ready and lined up. I will go through and just check, just visually before I heat up my tool holder, that everything is in line and ready to go. Once I'm confident that I know everything will work and it's all ready, I can move the heating element out of the way put on my Kevlar gloves, grab my tool, and we are ready to go. I'm gonna make sure that the tool is also clean. This is the same exact process. Once I know that's clean, I can then bring my heating element down, place it right over the top of my tool holder, and we can go ahead and heat it up. Now, once I hit this button, our coil is going to heat up our tool holder to almost 700 degrees in a matter of seconds. Once it's hot, I'm going to move the element out of the way, grab my tool, place it in. I will lift up my tool just a little bit, so that way later on when I balance it, I know I won't have any interference with the cooling of the outside of my holder. So now our holder has cooled a little bit, allowing me to let go. And now I can turn my station to its cooling spot where I can go through and place my cooling ring over my holder. This setup tells me exactly what cooling ring to use. I'm going to use this 10 to 12 millimeter cooling ring. It has a green light on it, which indicates to me the temperature of when the tool holder is nice and cool. As you can see, it's green. Once I place this over my tool holder, this will change to red. This lets me know that the tool is still hot. We're going to wait a little bit. This will flash and then go to solid green. Once it's solid green, I then know that the tool holder is cooled to the appropriate temperature. This 10 to 12 millimeter cooling ring will cool down our tool holder to room temperature with its recycled refrigerant in a matter of minutes. And so just like that, our cooling ring has turned green, which means that this holder is now safe to grab. I can go through and put my ring back. And just like that, we have our nice shrink fit holder. All I need to do is actually just put in my dual lock insert and we are now ready to balance. 